Chris Aquina here. I was looking at the reviews for the Audio Technica ATR 35S. Uh, there was another Audio Technica mic, I forget what it is, the more popular, cheaper one, ATR 3350 mic. And one of the biggest concerns were people plugging this into their computer and then returning it because they say, well, the volume was too soft. I couldn't hear anything. I had to jack up the volume really loud and then it, gained, it became really hissy and the gain was way too high and it just didn't sound nice. I thought it's a professional microphone. And they're right, it's a professional microphone. But that means it has requirements that are beyond just the regular consumer grade stuff. And what I'm talking about is it needs some power. Now what you might not know is in the audio world, the AV world, that's called a preamp. Now, for those of you who are plugging this into a camera, something similar to like a ZI-8, that actually has a preamp in it. So it's getting the electricity from the camera into the mic, producing a good sound. But if you're instead putting this jack right into your computer and wondering why it's not picking anything up, it's because it's not getting the power it needs to be able to deliver that good sound that you're expecting. So how do you go about doing that? Well, one of the ways is to pick up one of these. You don't have to get this brand. This one in particular is an Olympus, but it's just a simple field recorder. This one has an onboard mic, so without the use of an external mic, it can still pick up sound, but it's so handy. I mean, look at that. You pull that battery compartment off and the USB is right there. You can plug it in and download the file instantaneously. It's got the ability to sort files by folders and it's, it's really handy. And if you're looking here on Amazon, 55 bucks, 55 bucks for the cheaper one. And I bet it works just as well. And the beauty of these things is look, it's portable. It takes one AAA battery. You can take it anywhere you want. If you're doing interviews, this is perfect. You can plug it in. It's got a mic input and most of them do actually. So you don't really have to check the specifications though you want to before you order. It should have a mic input and it should have a headphone input. So if you'd like, you can plug in the mic and you can plug in the earphone from here into your computer, which you would utilize one of these cords you can see on the screen to do that. And if you did this, then yes, your sound would come out loud and clear, just like this. It would sound great. You'd have no complaints. But as I said, this does run on battery. It takes a AAA battery and that might last eight hours or so. Just a guess and maybe a little bit less. So my solution instead is to use a USB, uh, I don't even know what you call this, uh, audio interface. It's basically a little mixer and it plugs into my computer via USB. This one is by Yamaha and if I had a choice I would have gone with something better actually. It was only because this was used and I got a good deal on it that I ended up picking it up. But it has what I need. So you can see there are two dials here for the inputs. This one is for the output. If I turn it around, you can see the inputs there. This one has input for a microphone. This one has inputs for the instruments, which actually I'm not using right now, so I can take that out. But this provides the electricity, you can see this red light here, it's providing phantom power, which means that there's some juice going through there, which you will not get by plugging this in simply into your line and jack on your computer. It doesn't give it what it needs, okay? So if you're wondering why the sound isn't there, well, it's because you need some juice. So, again, one of two options. Pick up one of these, about 55 bucks. Or you can go on Craigslist, look for one of these, if you're in a major city, you'll see at least five or six of these online at any given time. I would just type in USB audio interface. You go to Craigslist, you go to musical instruments, and that will come up almost for certain if you're in a major city. I mean, these things are so prevalent and in, in the recording industry, and now that everything's coming to the home enthusiast, it is out there for you to find used, okay? So I'm sort of res reviewing what I pulled up here just to see if there's anything I missed. 
oh, the best solution, the all-in-one. Some of you are lucky enough to own a flip camera, but are unlucky enough not to own a Kodak ZI8. I'm one of those people. I wish I had one because, I don't know if you can tell, but that right there is the secret sauce. That's an external mic input. And if you can plug it right into there, the audio and the video mesh. I mean, they just come together. You don't have to do anything about it. You don't have to bring your software up and then put in the video and then line up the audio and try to get it to sync up. None of that. The ZI8 is the only one that I know that actually has an external mic input that's of that cost. I mean, it's not very expensive. I've Craigslisted that thing and it's about 150 to 200 bucks. Kodak's gone out of business. If this is your thing, if you're doing interviews and you're doing field recordings all the time, you're getting people on camera, you want a good audio source, pick up a Kodak ZI8. I don't even have one, so I have no incentive to tell you to go get some Kodak stock because it's out of business anyway. But it's a good camera. I've seen a lot of things done with it. So again, Audio Technica lavalier microphones are good. If you're plugging it into your computer, it's not going to give you what you want unless you've got something in between to give it some juice. I hope this helped answer some of your questions. It's a good microphone. It's professional grade. As you can tell, it works really well. So I hope it works well for you. Pick up some extra stuff. It's worth it. It is worth it. Thanks for listening. You guys take care. See you later. Bye.